Neil deGrasse Tyson confronts us with the shocking truth. Earth is going to be hit and destroyed by an asteroid. We must prepare ourselves so that we can defend ourselves in the event of an emergency. To do this, we need a global asteroid defense system, consisting of powerful probes that can push asteroids and comets out of their deadly orbits. According to deGrasse Tyson, we've been very lucky that no large asteroids or comets have hit us in the past few millennia. But the calm is deceptive, and the sudden appearance of an asteroid in 2004 was a serious warning. A new dangerous lump could appear on our cosmic doorstep. What will happen when Day X arrives? And what kind of destruction can we expect? Quote from Neil deGrasse Tyson In December 2004, we discovered an asteroid. There was a 20% chance that it would hit the Earth. It was a shock for astronomers. Suddenly, a previously unknown asteroid was spotted on a collision course with the Earth. That was in December 2004, and almost no one in the population took any notice of the danger that was hurtling towards us. In 2004, one of the greatest disasters in recent human history occurred. A devastating tsunami killed thousands of vacationers and locals in Asia devastated regions and caused suffering and panic. The news that an asteroid might soon bring us even worse scenarios was lost in the frenzy of terrible news and images of destruction and desperate people. For weeks, people looked at the rising death toll and the unbelievable wrinkles of a natural disaster that nobody saw coming. As the water receded dramatically in Asia on December 26th, unsuspecting bathers wandered curiously into the dry sandbanks. Only when the thunder of the wave could be heard did people flee. The wall of water, up to 30 meters high, rolled forward with unstoppable force and simply washed away the beach sections along with the people. Coastal villages and towns were destroyed, and the suffering was immeasurable. The last tsunami of this size occurred many thousands of years ago just as the last major asteroid impact was so long ago that we humans are no longer aware of the ever-present threat. But it is there every day. It is not only on Earth that there are dangers that we modern humans underestimate. There are thousands of asteroids in the Earth's vicinity that will certainly end up on a collision course with the Earth one day. Most of them are in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. However, the chunks periodically set themselves in motion, are attracted by the Sun, and then fly towards Earth. Apophis, deadline April 13, 2036 The asteroid that appeared so suddenly on the radar screens of surveillance systems in 2004 was Apophis. When the object first came into view, astronomers immediately fed their computers with the new data, and to everyone's horror, the forecast indicated a 20% risk of impact on April 13, 2036. Further calculations predicted the impact for the Pacific Ocean near Santa Monica. If this event were to occur, Apophis would trigger a tsunami that would come in 40 separate waves, the highest of which would be up to five stories high. Such an event would have a cataclysmic event on the west coast of the USA. Damage estimated at $10 billion could be expected, and despite evacuations, thousands of people could lose their lives. Initial fears of an impact were later revised. More precise observations allowed for a course correction, and the improved orbit calculation brought relief. An impact became less and less likely. In 2013, it was announced that Apophis would still pass Earth at a safe distance in 2029 and 2036. But Apophis will keep coming back, and one day the horror scenario could still happen. Apophis is not alone. There have been several acute asteroid warnings in recent decades. Fortunately, more precise calculations and observations have shown these threats to be unfounded. In 2011, asteroid AG5 was also considered a potential threat for 2040 for a while before further observations reassessed the risks. The most dangerous near-Earth asteroids are assessed based on their size, composition, and orbit. Currently, Apophis 29075, 1950 DA, 
and 410-777-2009FD are under close observation. 1950 DA has a small chance of hitting Earth in the year 2880. 2009 FD could pose a potential threat in the future. Organizations such as NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies are responsible for monitoring these and other near-Earth objects. Telescopes such as the PANSTARS in Hawaii continuously scan the sky for potential threats. The experts are constantly carrying out up-to-date calculations on the orbits of known asteroids and assess the current impact probabilities. Apophis will come again. Despite the provisional all-clear, it is only a matter of time before Apophis or another asteroid is on a collision course. Officially cataloged as 99942 Apophis, this object is one of the near-Earth objects that will repeatedly come dangerously close to Earth due to its orbit around the Sun. Even for Apophis, there remains a small risk of impact. Neil deGrasse Tyson warns of the keyhole scenario, in which the asteroid could fly through a zone on its next flyby that brings it together with the Earth's gravitational pull in such a way that the asteroid's orbit is shifted away from our planet on a collision course. Then, things could get tight in 2036, after all. Apophis was named after the ancient Egyptian god of chaos and destruction because of its potential for destruction. Nevertheless, the asteroid resembles a cosmic dwarf. It measures only around 370 meters. By comparison, the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago was around 15 kilometers wide. Nevertheless, Apophis is large enough to cause catastrophic damage in the event of an impact. Most recently, astronomers calculated that Apophis would come extremely close to Earth on April 13, 2029 with a minimum distance point well below the geostationary satellites, which are about 36,000 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Apophis will pass beneath the satellites in 2029 and is expected to pass Earth at a distance of only around 31,000 kilometers. That sounds ominous, and yet this close visit is a unique opportunity to study the asteroid even better. The exact orbit of Apophis was determined by a combination of direct observations and the analysis of pre-discovery photos. Pre-discovery photos are random images taken before the actual discovery of the asteroid. Every single image and every observation helps us to keep a close eye on the orbit of the chunk. With Osiris to Bennu and Apophis In Egyptian mythology, Osiris is the antagonist of Apophis. As the benevolent god of the light-filled underworld and rebirth, he showed souls the way, while Apophis had their confusion and misery in mind. NASA chose the name Osiris for its probe. Before the mission headed for Apophis, the first destination was Bennu. Bennu is another near-Earth asteroid that is important because of its potential impact risk. With a diameter of around 500 meters, Bennu is one of the asteroids that can cause even greater damage in the event of an impact. However, the risk of Bennu is considered to be lower than that of Apophis. According to calculations, there is a low probability that Bennu could collide with Earth in the late 22nd century, approximately between 2175 and 2199. The OSIRIS-REx mission was launched in 2016 and reached Bennu in 2018. The probe spent two years mapping and analyzing the asteroid before successfully collecting material from its surface and flying back to Earth. We would eagerly await the return of the collected samples. In 2023, the return container landed in the Utah desert, and scientists were amazed at what they later held in their hands. The sample, which weighed just a few grams, consisted largely of organic materials, supporting theories that asteroids and comets are the secret messengers of life in the cosmos. Following the success of Orias Rex, the mission changed to Osiris Apex and the main probe set course for Apophis. What chances do we have at fending off an asteroid? What can we really do when the time comes? Until a few years ago, the answers to this question would have looked bleak, but we have made some progress. Humanity has recognized the need for a global asteroid defense 
and is currently working collectively on strategies and technologies. Under the motto, Collect, Learn, Understand and Defend, various nations on Earth are sending probes to asteroids and comets. Missions such as ESA Rosetta Philae, Japan's Hayabusa 2, and OSIRIS serve purely to collect data. If we know exactly what the threats consist of, the rock, the density, the weight, and everything else, we have a better chance of pushing such an object out of its orbit in an emergency, and that is the only chance we have. Simply flying to the asteroid and blowing it up, as Armageddon did, would be a suicide mission in reality. Blowing it up would even increase the risk of uncontrolled flying fragments and would only be considered as a last resort if all other measures had failed. Scientists worldwide agree that we need to push asteroids or comets on a collision course out of their orbit in a controlled manner or tow the chunk away with probes. DART showed that this is possible. NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test was the first large-scale experiment in this direction and successfully pushed the small asteroid Dimorphos, which was far from Earth, out of its orbit around its larger companion, Didymos, on September 26, 2022. The success even exceeded expectations, and since DART NASA is confident that it will be able to fend off asteroids in the future by means of probe impacts. The impact of a probe like DART cannot destroy the asteroid. However, the impact is enough to displace it, and a few centimeters can be decisive here if the asteroid is detected in time. Occasionally, Asteroids also appear near us at short notice. Some smaller asteroids that have exploded on Earth in recent years and caused moderate damage hit us completely unexpectedly. What we could do if there is only a short window of opportunity is still written in the stars. It would be good to have a potential defense system consisting of various probes that could be deployed quickly. Other technologies are to be developed. One of these is the gravity tractor technique which uses the gravity of a nearby spacecraft to gently deflect the asteroid over a longer period of time. The possibility of nuclear deflection is also being investigated, where a nuclear detonation near the asteroid could change its orbit without destroying it. And scientists are working on powerful probes that have enough thrust to drag an asteroid out of orbit. Subscribe to the channel now and look forward to new exciting videos.